We're here to install the new Z-Glide suspension forks on the front of this John Deere 950M. We're going to take these solid things off and put some suspension on the front of this. I want to show you what I got laid out here. I've got the Z-Glides laying here. I've got a hardware kit to install those with. I've got an inch and seven sixteenths, three quarter inch drive socket, a couple 15 sixteenths wrenches, the screwdriver to help us remove some caps, along with my grease gun, my deck leveler, and a pry bar there to make sure we can get these things apart. We're going to start off by uh, making sure that our parking brake is on. We're on a flat level surface and we're going to jack the front of this thing up and get started. The next step that we're going to do is we're going to remove this three quarter inch bolt with our 15 16 wrenches. We're going to put this back in here. You're going to want to keep this. If you ever trade that mower in and you want to rotate your Z glides over to your new unit, you'll have it. Next step, we're going to remove our cap here. And here's where that one and seven sixteenths inch socket comes into play. So I want to point out there's no need here to get yourself all greasy. We're going to leave that ratchet and socket right in there. We're going to remove your old unit. And here's your replacement with your suspension built in. We've got some grease on a shaft here to keep us from shaft from rusting up here between the two bearings. We're going to want to recapture that. And we're going to ratchet this bad boy right back on here. So we're going to use a bar here. Right there, my bearing's beginning to seat. I'm going to put me about another quarter to an eighth of a turn on there and feel pretty good about what that feels like. Don't forget to reinstall your cap. I want you to notice here that you've got a couple holes to choose from. We're going to start off here in this top hole. This is going to be really close to your factory setting. In time, you might find you want to drop down to this hole as you get some wear on the Z-Glide. We want to make sure we're leaving our dust caps on. We're going to go right back in like we talked about using the top hole. The nut, lock nut will do the job, but you just want a nice firm, make sure we got free spin. And again, we don't have that free wheel, okay? We've got a little bit of torque on that bearing. Now we're here to the other side. We're just going to repeat the process. We do have a couple grease fittings on here. One of the last things that we want to do before we let it down. We want to hit those just a couple pumps. All right, we're just putting, replacing what little grease that we had left. That come out with us. Now we're ready to let our jack down. All right, we've got our Z glides installed. We've greased them and we're good to go. A very important step is making sure that we're gonna to continue to cut level. We're gonna set our deck height knob over here, anywhere from three to four inches. We set it on three, we're gonna level it to three. We're gonna go ahead and slide that under here. On our blade tip, we're gonna find that, take it there, get our dimension, come back here to the rear, do it again. We want the front of this blade tip to be anywhere from an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch lower than the rear. If you need to raise and lower the front of the deck, you do it with this rod, loosen the jam nut, and adjust accordingly. As you lengthen this rod, your deck will go down. Retighten your jam nut. If you need to raise and lower the back, same concept, jam nut right here. Raising and lowering this will raise and lower your deck. And now that you've got your deck level, guys, I want you to run it about 50 hours. Let's get these Z glides out there in the yard. Let's get them working. Let's get them limbered up. Let's recheck your deck after about 50 hours. Make sure everything is seated. If need be, we showed you how to level the deck. Come back in there and get her leveled back up again. If you have any more questions about your Z glide suspension kit or just want to order a set of your own, check us out at zglidesuspension.com.